Hello everyone, this is Sispawn, and welcome back to episode 14 of my Roma Spectrum 2.5 Pontus Campaign. So, last turn we recovered Tarsus from the Seleucids, and we were preparing to march on Hierapolis over here. And we were also setting up our fort defense system in the area to prevent future setbacks. And then... Hopefully we'll be able to move on to the Ptolemies here shortly. But let's see what happens. The Seleucids might decide to be fun and throw yet another wrench into our plans. So I'm going to spend some money here on some buildings really quickly. Start the script before I forget. And Heraclea looks like it's pretty darn happy with those wells built up. Let's go ahead and get it some paved roads here. <clears throat> yeah, that'll be useful. And really quickly, a major needs to build, so we'll skip to that for now. And they will get oh, a level 2 Temple of Demeter, increase its income a little bit. And now let's go back to uh, Pamea, see if there's anything cheap enough for us to build here. There we go, we'll get a Shrine of Dionysus, perfect. Okay, oh, getting a little bit of lag here. Hopefully that'll go away momentarily. Yep, looking good. Okay, I think we're good to go ahead and end the turn. <clears throat> hmm... I really hope the Seleucids start going to war with some other people so they can get their attention focused elsewhere. I really don't want to spend half of this campaign just fighting back and forth here. It'll get old pretty quick. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue with our forts here first. Sure, you guys just go ahead and jump in here. And we'll leave two of you guys and two of you guys and everyone else can move down to here hmm go ahead and put one right here uh, what the world It's starting to get laggy again. I don't know what's causing it. And we'll set up the final fort for the turn right here. Oh, and I'll need to move down just a little bit at the beginning of this next turn to set it up. But for now, they're good there. And now let's go ahead and spend our money. Now, they just got something last turn, so let's go to Sinope here. Actually, I think I decided Trapezus was going to be next. Last episode if I remember correctly. Okay, good. I did get something to get their population go up. I went ahead and built them that uh, first level of population growth. And to add on to that, let's go ahead and give them a shrine of Hades there. Satala not growing and only moderately happy so let's go ahead and work on its happiness here probably first before we worry about it growing too much we don't want it to grow faster than we can keep it satisfied okay hmm well not a lot for us to build here This will be most of our money, but let's just go ahead and build in a market. That'll help out. Maybe not directly with happiness, but it'll unlock other buildings for us and increase its productivity. I think that's basically all our money for building this turn. Not much chance of me spending that on anything worthwhile. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I should have brought my army with catapults down here, because I really don't want to have to deal with another... 
Uh, Garrison, that's right, I have my spot with an 88% chance, so we'll risk it. That's just one general, no big deal. Oh, 88% chance, and it's not going to let us, so we'll see what happens. Go ahead and build some rams, and hopefully next turn we won't have a garrison here. We'll see. We probably will, though, so we might have another big battle on our hands this turn. Or this, uh, this episode. Okay. That's right, I left him here just in case they brought that army up along this area. They'd have to march through Armenian lands, so I'm not really convinced they're going to do that, but just in case. Let's go ahead and end the turn here. <sighs> okay. Move right there. Um, I wonder if we can build it right here. Yeah, we can. That's a little better. No, we can't. Darn it. This will be a good enough choke point. No? Those docks? Maybe right here? There we go. And my frame rate is still being kind of wacky. I don't know if it's just fraps or what, but... You guys... Let's see. Let's get out of the fort for the moment. I don't even know where I'm going to send you right now, really. Hmm. We'll figure that out in a second. For now, Antioch. Let's keep improving your happiness here so we can get some buildings to tax you a little more. Go ahead and build these garden patrol posts here. They're not really having any corruption, but that's okay. Law buildings are still always good. Oh, Tarsus expanded. And I think we're actually going to go have to go ahead and cancel that here so we can take care of that. But we'll take care of Antioch here shortly. Let's see, who's that? Oh, my governor at Amasia is now apparently in engineering school at the ripe old age of 55. Okay. And, yep, what do you know? They got a nice big free garrison. So, we'll just do the usual and starve it out since we don't have any um, siege weapons and, well, we do have some rams, but I'd rather just wait. Alright. Send you up this way. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and end the turn here. And it looks like we're going to get another field battle here for Hierapolis. So it's going to be pretty similar to the last battle we fought, except for they're not going to have any elephants. So let's get it going. Alright guys, we got everything set up here. I'm going to do basically the same strategy as the previous battle. So we're just going to really quickly go and crush this general here. And then we will turn around and worry about the main Seleucid army. Alrighty. Now they're being nice and just marching right to us, so let's just set up right here. You guys go ahead and charge. Go around this flank here. And let's slaughter this guy. Get some close-ups in the meantime. These Salisa Generals look pretty badass. 
My Thrakatai are just tearing them to shreds. The cavalry is hardly even going to be necessary. They're already down to 11, 10. No point even lining up here. Let's just take them out. There we go. And that's the general dead. It is time to press the attack. Oh, they're actually coming right from my left there. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get everyone reset up here. And I'll just get back to you when the battle's closer to starting, guys. Well, guys, it looks like they're being pretty similar to how the AI was acting in the last big battle like this. They're sending their troops just everywhere. They don't seem to know how to form up together for their lives, so let's go ahead and kill this little light cavalry unit with my archers here. No point in even trying to chase them down. One more volley should get them to rout and run away. I would have thought. Oh, alright, there's just two of three of them left, not even worth worrying about at this point. The guys did not line up very well when I turned them around here. Let's see, and they're pushing a general over here on this flank. Let me go ahead and bring my Cappadocians over here to deal with him. And everyone else I think is just going to go ahead and move up here to about, oh, say here. <laughs> I don't think these guys are going to accomplish much. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know what's up with the AI. Like, I don't know if it's just these relief armies and coming out of the city or what, but... I know the AI is stupid, but they don't usually tend to act this ridiculous. Either way, we'll slaughter them. <clears throat> I'm not going to charge in right away. I do want to minimize casualties a little bit here. But, oh wow, yeah. That shouldn't be much of a problem. What are you doing? Alright, fine. Just line up over here. Okay, now we need to start shooting the archers here. They're shooting ours up a little bit. Oh, they're getting kills on my elites here. Screw that. Okay, let's just go ahead and charge these guys. That should be quick. This should be a slaughter pretty easily. Ah, oh, really? Come on, guys, just die. Stop throwing javelins into my guy's back. That's not cool. Yeah, they're, once again, just kind of going every which way. Alright, that's another general dead. So, I really don't even know how to respond to this. I mean, let's just go ahead and move up a little bit I guess okay let's go ahead and just shoot these uh, levy pikemen here a little bit hmm. what are you doing? I told you to stay and shoot These Syrian archers are just about done for. And where are you guys losing people from? Uh, probably just friendly fire. Anyways, let's start shooting them in the flanks. I'm on their shielded side. Let's switch over to their back here and get some better shots. They're dying pretty quickly either way. Shouldn't matter really. There we go. They're already routing. 
go ahead and just move them up along this way. I'm going to turn fire at will off and just chase these guys down to save ammunition. And go ahead and bring my archers back into line since they're moving some Macafoy around the side here. No, I really don't want to break formation, but I don't want people behind me either. I don't know. We're just going to keep marching. Hmm. I mean, I'm kind of sad. This really just makes it anticlimactic here. No big clash. Just chase down... The stragglers. Oh, never mind. They turned around to face me. Oh, here comes the enemy. Wow, they're just scattering because they route by sheer weight of numbers before I can do anything. Oh, they are finally kind of rushing some of their units forward to meet me, so let's pull these guys back out of the line of fire. Looks like they already took some javelins, probably from these Thrakatai. Or it could have been the Tarantines. Doesn't really matter. They didn't take that many losses. Okay, we're going to start firing these Tarantines here. And I really want to just get these guys out of... I don't know, I'm not even going to bother chasing them down. That's just splitting my army too much for no reason. This is just baffling. Well, nothing for it, I guess. Reset my line here, and then we'll move forward and attack. Well, are they going to do anything back here? I bet I could just rattle them with a quick charge as exhausted as they are. Okay, they finally set up here. Let's go ahead and turn fire at will on. Well, never mind, they only have that one unit there. see if I was right or if I miscalculated. Oh, well, they're not routing yet, but I'm not really losing people. Alright, they routed. Now I'll turn fire at will on for them. Hmm, what to do? I got most of their light troops out of the way. So let's just turn fire at will on and run around here a little bit. Okay, yep, those McAfoy Roy are just wiped off the face of the earth. Good. Oh, God. Oh, wow, that was a pretty effective uh, volley there. Good Lord, I didn't even charge them in the back and they're just running. Well, move forward, guys. I just feel bad. I feel like I'm picking on them.
Okay, these guys actually stood up to it. I'm not going to fight them in the extended battle as their spearmen, especially not head head on. So let's pull these guys back a little bit. Aren't they the attacking army? <laughs> Sorry if this is a little boring to watch guys, it's honestly a little boring to uh, play with the AI just derping like this. Gosh darn it, stop getting tangled up in my people. I'm not even having to try, this is just it's funny. <laughs> and this phalanx isn't even facing the right way. I mean, I really just do feel like I'm picking on a little kid who, who doesn't know what he's doing. Whoa, tight formation, please, guys. Where are you going? Stay here and die, please. Come on guys, just get around the flanks. I'm not even fighting an army, I'm just fighting a lot of different little individual units. <clears throat> I know these garrison armies are supposed to here, be here to provide a little extra challenge, but I don't even feel like they're providing any extra challenge, it's just extra work at this point. and route and chain route and battle the gods be praised <laughs> the enemy's hearts are full of fear and now they flee if i sound a little underwhelmed it's because i am i don't think it's the mod i've played this mod since it came out and it's generally fantastic i've never had this consistently derpy ai to the extreme before like, I've had to do stupid things, but, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's just the Seleucids and they have no generals to send after me at this point. They're all dead. Huh. 
Well, guys, I'll see you at the results screen. Alrighty, so... <laughs> I didn't even lose 100 men. Good lord. Not even worth looking at the stats for. It's just free experience is all that is. Huh. I'm really not sure why they're not just attacking me as an army. I mean, I'm used to being on the attack and not the defensive, but... Even when they attack me, usually they'll have better cohesion than this. <sighs> Alright, well, Hierapolis is mine. Depopulate. Oh, yay, they finally got an emergency army here. So we might actually have a real challenge on our hands in a second. Assuming he doesn't just run away. I think we made pretty good money thanks to sacking Hierapolis. Sparta's allied with the Ptolemies, not really worried about that. Even if I go to war with the Ptolemies and Sparta decides to join for some reason, they're far enough away that it won't really matter at this point. Let's head back up to Mazika. Train a couple more archer units here. And, let's see. Yeah, that should be enough. We'll make, like, two more of those guys. Okay, Amasia, you need some stuff here. And we will give you large trade expeditions. Now, Antioch, you were going to get something, but it was kind of taken away, so we'll give you those garden patrol posts that you were going to get. Okay, uh... We'll get... Egyptian mummification. Huh. We'll just give you a first aid center. Bamea. <sighs> what do you want? Give you a regional focus. Jesus, wow, I'm actually losing population of Satala right now. Also give you guard and patrol posts. So nope. Go ahead and build a settlement there. Might as well get started towards building some troops. You'll just chill here for the turn. And, oh, never mind, I'm going to... I'm not really worried about it. Let's kill this successor army base here. That's actually enough to repair that market. And build a small shrine to Ares. I'm not sure if I'm going to hold on to this, but it doesn't hurt to at least make it holdable while I do have it. I mean, really, it's, it's not going to be protected by forts, but it's within easy striking distance to retake or defend if I need to. Now, this battle when I fight it could get ugly. They've got some pretty good troops here. I'm not sure, sure why those aren't at full strength. But whatever. Yeah, they've got chariots, catapults, cataphract elephants, and lots of other good units. So we'll see what they do next turn. Just in case, I'm going to head and bring this army down to about here. And he'll be in range for over here, and if they attack Hierapolis or just stay in the area, I can use this army to engage. So, I think that is yet another turn done here. I'm not sure how long this video has gone, honestly. But we'll go ahead and end the turn and at least see what the Seleucids decide to do for us. So I'm going to make a quick save. I don't like to play too long without making one, just in case I get a crash. And it looks like they ran somewhere. I should still have my spy in Hierapolis, so I might try to hunt him down and see where he went.
I don't see them by any of my settlements. They just left this little puny horse here. Let's grab that spy and head this way. Oh, he's not by Dari or Opus that I see. He could have gone up here. Okay. Scythian the Bell J. Once again, doesn't really matter to us. Let's go to Amasia. And their income's going up a little bit. That's good. Now, what resources do we have here? Copper, silver, but go away. Iron, tin. No, oh, that's that's not in the Pontus proper. So nothing really special we can use for any of our uh, unique trade buildings. So that's okay. I think I'd like to get highways built there. But there's also some cheaper units that'll give us a pretty good bonus here. Let's just go ahead and get oh uh Temple of Hades. Heraclea, we'll just give you real community control set up. Garden patrol post for Abamea. Uh, Mazika, I think, didn't get anything last time. Give them a Shrine of Hermes. And is Laodicea the only place not building? It is. Well, that and Hierapolis. Let's go to Hierapolis first of all. I can even train a garrison for him from here. I'll give him two Levy Hoplites from here and I'll make... Oh... They just have regular wooden walls, so I'm not really going to worry too much about ranged units, but we could give them an archer unit. Let's see, we have a general here, so we'll let him be in charge of garrisoning Hierapolis for the moment. can't remember if he had another task. Oh, maybe Tarsus. We don't have one there. That's right. That's what he was for. Let's go ahead and send him to Tarsus. We will recruit another general for Hierapolis. And... Oh... Give him a heavy Peltist unit as well. Alright, my forts. Let's get those done for the turn. You come up here, and let's see, we could use one probably right about here. And then, ooh, would be quite a few, here, 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 and then we could do here and here. So one, two, three, four, five, six more forts potentially, I have the troops for it. But we'll worry about that next turn. For now, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the turn or end the sh video by fighting this one quick little battle here. So I will just get back to you when some action happens. All right, guys, this battle is just going to be quick and easy for the most part here. Go ahead and start shooting down their archers. The rest of our army is just going to keep on moving in. Okay, they've got another unit of archers hidden back there. That's why it seems like we've got quite a bit of missiles coming in. Alright, you guys just head here and run in to scare them off. I'm really surprised they're still alive. One of my units 
for whatever reason wasn't firing. Okay. Archers move up to about here. And no real point in even worrying about finesse much in this battle. Okay, getting a bit of a route going here. Let's just focus on this cavalry. The cavalry will die. Very shortly. These phalangites are holding out a little longer than I would have hoped, but... What can you do? There we go, all the cavalry is routed and they should die here shortly. The gods be praised! The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom approaches! Alright guys, as soon as we route this archer unit the battle should basically be over so I'm just gonna go ahead and start my guys towards chasing down all these units here okay I'll see you with the results alright that's that battle over once again another easy one but at least the AI wasn't completely derpy and stupid here okay Looks like they actually got a few away, but it doesn't really matter. Probably just gonna break. <sighs> Alright. That's over. Oh, I didn't build anything for Hierapolis, so just go ahead and give them some roads. Enemy army flees, perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. <laughs> Stiplemite's gonna grow old just waiting to declare war on the Ptolemies. Okay, getting a little bit of lag here again from Fraps, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you very shortly next time.